morning, everyone. How is everyone doing this morning? I hope that your day is off to a wonderful, fantastic start. If it's your first time here, hi. My name is Carrington. Not your first time here, hi. Welcome back. If you enjoy any and all things makeup related, tossing in some book stuff here and there, you're definitely going to want to go ahead, click that subscribe button, click the little bell to be notified of all my future uploads. As well as if you want to follow this dumpster fire on another platform, you can definitely go and follow me over on Instagram. And let's go ahead and let's get into another exciting video, which is testing out some new drugstore affordable makeup. I did purchase quite a few things. So first things first is at Ulta, they had these like summery quads. I know we've tried a couple of the quads before, um, but this time we have like all new at maybe... I feel like they, they dupe themselves quite often. Um, but we have some, we've got like four different quads that we could try out. We have a, um, this is from Essence. It's called the Fix and Last Makeup Gripping Jelly Primer. Hydrating and refreshing. Free from silicones and alcohol. I purchased this from Pacifica. This is the Kind Tint Tinted Serum with Natural Coverage. Um, we have from e.l.f. the Sea Bright Putty Primer. Okay, it doesn't really smell like oranges, so maybe we'll be good. Um, I've got some of the e.l.f. Luminous Putty uh, bl putty Blushes. I have mine in Bermuda and Maui. I did purchase another ColourPop Super Shock, shat or Super Shock Highlighter that is in the shade Flexitarian. Uh, I, got, I have a couple different like lip options that I had purchased. So first is we have this ColourPop glowing lip which I've heard like nothing but raved about um, and then I have a couple of like the super stay matte ink where we have like a red and we have like a pinky mauve type color um, and then last is we have the L'Oreal true match eye cream and a concealer this looks to be a little bit dark maybe even a little bit yellow and I don't really care for the applicator like I would rather much rather just have like a dope lip but let's see Okay, well, yeah, definitely a little bit dark, and that's odd because the packaging describes it as a, this is for pale, fair skin. Yes, fair skin. Okay, alright, so if you guys are excited to see what I think of these products, what I recommend them, then definitely keep on watching. All right, so I primed my eyelids with the uh, Believe Beauty Eye Primer. Seriously, good primer, super affordable. So we have some like different quads. So we have um, Beachy Keen, uh, which is kind of like a brownish mustardy kind of like a palette. We have this right here, which is Wait and See. And this is definitely like a very blue-esque palette. We have this right here. This is called Sure Thing. Um, I think that could be really like a contender to use today. And then we have this right here, and this is called Shellbound. Honestly, I don't think the first two are really something I want to use for like today's look. I feel like that would maybe clash a little bit with what I've got on. But I really do like these. And honestly, I think we could maybe combine the both of them to create something, to create a really pretty look. I'm going to start off with this palette right here. And we have current, wait, what is this called? Current event, and that's this shade right here, maybe, supposedly. It's on the back, so you, I, don't even, I don't ever really know. So we're just going to take that light pink shade on a nice, like, fluffy brush. Um, pick a little bit up, and let's see what happens with this, like, pinkish shade. Alright, so this does give a really, like, light wash of color so this is definitely like a more buildable kind of shade i honestly can't remember the last time i've really done like a super neutral-esque type shade but well i'm here for it so then we're going to go into that other palette. This is the Shellbound. And we're going to go into, I don't know, Calm 
it's either calm bake or such a catch not sure which but it's this little shade right here and I just want to take that and just focus it a little bit lower down in the crease area I don't need it to go up quite as far as a transition shade So then for the outer corner, I'm just going to go into the shade right here from the Shore Thing palette. This is either Umbrella or Beach Ball. So I'm just going to take that. Oh, this one has a lot kicked up. And just start to focus that on the outer corner. And then I just want to take it just like lightly, just like swoop it over not by like a lot but like a little just like swoop swoop so we have like four shimmer options so each of these quads come with two mattes two shimmers I'm pretty sure they're all like that yes they're all like that so um, we have this one which is the shell bound Or we have this one, which is the like shore thing. I think I like this one better, just like both the both shimmers in general. So we're gonna go into that. Uh, deepest matte, sh sh oh, matte shimmer shade. I don't know why I'm struggling with like calling it a shimmer shade, but we're struck. We are struggling on this bus. We're going to go into that lighter pink shade in the quad and just start kind of marrying the two together at like the center part. But I will say these are kind of like a little bit markedly different like like it's one's like very very light and one is just like very very dark which I don't know I thought maybe they might be like a little bit more similar okay so now we're I've got like the eyes like pretty good first of all this is my first time trying the these uh glam light Pizza lashes? Are these are like a name? Hold on, hold please. What is your favorite topping? Is there only one pizza lash? What lashes are these? <laughs> it literally doesn't say. Handcrafted, 3D lashes, glam lash. Like I don't know. It says, but like glam light, fresh, bacon delicious. I love how like it just gets so wispy like towards the end. Love that. Love that. Love that. Okay, so then we're going to move on into the priming of the face. So first things first is we have this from Essence. This is the Fix and Last Makeup Dripping Jelly Primer. Hydrating and refreshing. Free from silicones and alcohol. So you get almost a full mil in here. Um, this provides a fresh finish. Allow the formula several seconds to set to activate full grip effect. And then apply your makeup to create a long lasting makeup look. Applies transparent, could also be worn alone for smooth and fresh looking skin. Okay. In a way, like the way that it kind of like looks and what I'm thinking is maybe like a, like maybe like the like watermelon primer from like e.l.f. It might be similar. Oh, dang it. <laughs> okay, so this smells like roses it smells like flower like floral and i'm not necessarily opposed to scented things but this is actually like really strong so it's really strong and if of all the scents that you could pick i probably wouldn't pick floral as like the the scent 
that I want. So we're gonna let that set. So while we're doing that, cause I mostly focused it on the perimeters. I did put a little bit in the T-zone, but in the T-zone, I'm gonna go in with this e.l.f. Sea Bright Putty Primer. This is um, like the normal putty primer, but it has some vitamin C in it. So um, here is the inside. We're just gonna take a smidge amount and I'm gonna like warm it up in my fingers and just start to apply this right in the center of my face. I will say this is probably one of my favorite drugstore pore filling primers. I wouldn't say like this is like my favorite like of all time. Um, I really like the hourglass one for that as well as I really like um, the Rare Beauty and the Tatcha, like those are probably like my top picks. I've let this set for quite a while. I think it has like some tack to it, but like in comparison to like the Elf, the, um, what is it called? The Milk Hydro Grip, like any of that. I don't think it has near the amount of like grip that those do. So if you didn't like those because they were too gripping, I think you might like this better. If you like them because it's that gripping, you're not gonna like this. So just be mindful of that. So now we have the Pacifica Kind Tent Tinted Serum Natural Coverage. It's 100% vegan, cruelty free. Um, it has ingredients with vegan collagen, hyaluronic acid, vitamin C, niacinamide, and caffeine. Um, this is again, the lightest shade that they have. So I'm hoping this will work and it has again a little like okay wow so this is thick like this came out really thick I don't know what I was expecting but I don't think it being that thick was one of them like that's okay so I just put on just like a little bit at first I'm just gonna start blending it out seeing what we think of that Okay, it does provide a little bit of coverage. I can still see a little bit of my redness peeking through, but I don't think it's anywhere near like as red as like this side of my face. So it's definitely a like your skin, but but like better kind of a vibe if you're into that. Yeah, again, it's just it's just like a your skin but better so I can see my redness I can see you know the texture I can see like any acne or anything like that like coming through but it is very nice lightweight I don't know let's see if we can maybe build it up just a little bit just on like my cheek area it's the only place I want to build it up at on both sides Let's see what we get with this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm even with like the building of it, I still don't think it did anything like extraordinary. Um, I think it just maybe like a little bit more coverage uh, than before, but again, it, it's not like astronomical. I think that this is a very just like maybe your skin, but better or just something for like a light running errand kind of day or something like that. I think that'll be perfect for. So then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna move on into the L'Oreal True Match Corrector Cream. It has a 0.5% pure hyaluronic acid. Again, this is what they are claiming, claiming to be their lightest shade. Now, sometimes these like drugstore and like higher end brands out here trying to, I don't know, their shade range is just atrocious. That's all I gotta say. That's all I'm gonna say. All right, let's see how well this goes like blending out. I use my finger for some of it. 
It does tend to seem a little bit more like yellow than like the rest of the foundation. I don't necessarily know that I see it being much darker, but I do want to go in with some more because I can still really see like my dark circles and just see what we can get. So I'm going to let that set for, I don't know, just like I'm gonna let that set just for like a little bit of a smidge so that way we can just like, I don't know, see if that'll maybe give a little bit more coverage. This is my second time going in. So let's see. So it definitely just looks really hydrating under the eyes. Again, for me, my issue is, is like, it's just very yellow compared to the rest of my face. And that just drives me nuts. And it seems a little bit darker as well. Um, especially for them claiming this is the lightest shade that they have. I just, I just am like, what makes this the lightest shade? We can't do any better. So then we have two of these e.l.f. Luminous Putty uh, blushes. So we have the first shade is... Maui. Let me see if I can get it like a little bit built up on the back of my hands. So here's the shade Maui. Uh, it's definitely very it's like glowy as you can tell, um, but I don't feel like it's overly glittery. There are some like glitter specks in it, but I don't feel like it's like <sighs> where you're just kind of like, oh, oh, that's glittery, you know? So the next shade right here is called Bermuda. This is a little bit of a deeper shade. Okay. All right, so again, here's Bermuda. I think these are both really pretty colors. I think I wanna go in with Bermuda is what I would like to go in with. So I'm just gonna take like a, kind of like a foundation brush and just start stippling it in. I didn't put on any other cream products, but I felt like that was fine. I think this is like picking up nicely, stippling in really nice. It's looking good. When I placed my order, I got like this free little sample. It's not really affordable, but this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Setting Powder. This is in the shade Vanilla, which is like their lightest powder, I think. I don't know if they have just like a, if they had just like a, uh, this is kind of hard to get it to come out. There we go. Um, if they had like just a translucent one, but this is all that I could really find. <gasps> That's where it went. Dang. Okay, so I'm just gonna take my big, huge, like fluffy brush, get in there what I can, and then just start to like set. I've never tried this powder um, before, and honestly, I think it's an older product, but I can't remember anybody ever like talking about this powder, like if it was a good powder, a bad powder, like I can't remember any of that. I will say it's kind of hard to get the powder out, and I'm not sure if it's like just like in general this powder is hard to get out, or if it's more like um, because it's so tiny. But anyways, so it's a little free product. Figured we could test it out. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, I really like this powder. I mean, this powder looks like flawless. Like airbrush, like my, my face looks like seriously like airbrush and flawless. Wow, I love that, love that. You all, you can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing in this. Um, I'm just going to do like that light pink shade right here, take it on a brush and just start to really just like smoke it out. Then I'm going to go into kind of like that darker, no it's not darker, it's like the lighter of these oranges but it is darker than like the pink shade and I'm just going to start focusing this up along that lash line. 
And very last for like the outer like portion of the eye is that like darker shade right here. Like a little bit more of like a maroon. So then we do need like a inner corner type shade. I am going to go into this palette right here, the Beachy Keen, um, because this is either going to be going, oh gosh, going coastal or cooler. Um, so I'm just going to go into like this very, very light shade. Uh, that's what we're going to work in as like our inner corner. And I want to like really like make sure we brighten up like the inner corner part. Um, grab a little bit more and start to swoop it into that like darker shade that we were swooping in just like that and it just gives a little extra swoop okay so we're now moving on into like the complexion products right now so again for that highlight i have this from ColourPop. It's a Super Shock Cheek and Flexitarian. I've heard literally so many people rave about like this shade in particular. Oh shit. Oh boy. All right. Okay. All right. Carrington. Carrington. Oh my gosh. That was a lot. That was intense. Um, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was 100% not that. Oh my gosh. Like, look how intense that is. Like, just like a little bit. Like, it just is like so freaking intense. Like, wow. Wow. Oh man. Yep. The last thing that we need to do, um, which I need to go finish my brows and setting spray and stuff like that first. But we will then need to decide on a lip. Let's go ahead and let's just try swatching some of them. See what we like best. So this is the Maybelline, um, what is it called? Longwear lip color. What is this called? What are these called? Doesn't say. Does it say? Oh, matte ink. Super Stay matte ink. Um, and this is in the shade Lover. So let's see kind of what it looks like. I feel like that could be a really good option. I feel like that could be really good. Potentially. It could be a top, up like a top contender. First one we tried, but it's a top contender. Um, next up for the Super Stay Matte Ink is this red one, which is called a Pioneer. Okay. Do I like this? Like, do I actually like this? Like everything that's going on? Like am I like, I don't know, that's really cute too. Okay, all right. And then the last and final one is going to be this from ColourPop. This is the Glowing Lip and this is in Indulge Me. So let's see what I get here. You know, I could, I'd have to like line my lips. It's an interesting formula. It's not like as like glowy or like, I know there's lipstick on my teeth first and foremost. Um, but. Mm, I don't know if I'm in love with that. Okay. So here we are. It's like battle of like the, the lip options. I'm gonna branch out. I hardly ever do a red lip, so I think that's what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go finish off the rest of my face, and then come back and we'll apply this lip, and uh, then we will talk about my thoughts on these products. So now let's go ahead. Let's finally apply this lip now that we've got brows on, and I am excited. All right, so this is the completed and final look. 
what do you guys think do you guys think it turned out pretty good i'm not gonna lie i actually think this turned out really good um truthfully there's not a lot of products that i hated um in this try on there were a couple i was a little bit disappointed in but like overall i think it like looks really good um here's like an up close just look how airbrushed like my cheeks look and i don't use filters i don't know if this is your first time here I don't really care for using filters um the only time i basically use a filter is if like like this right now if i was like ah, oh, i don't feel like the shadows pop i'll put like a color over it so it like makes it pop more but like in terms of like trying to like cover up my texture cover up my dry spots um if it looks really bad and cakey like trying to cover that up as well i don't care for that i really just want to be open and honest everybody has texture and I feel like just we're just so used to seeing so many people use filters that we just expect our skin to look like that and that's just not really realistic so I just try to be a little bit more realistic on this channel okay so let's get into the ranking of what I think of all these products so in last place is going to be this L'Oreal True Match I honestly think I would like this a lot more had it been in a shade that works for me this is just, it's too yellow. It's much darker um, than like even the foundation that I used, which is just kind of, it's just, that's annoying. It's annoying. Okay, like I find it super annoying when people don't like include really fair skin or really deep skin. Uh, it's just like more focused on like the light to medium type range. And hopefully if you are more fair or deeper, one of their products will work. Uh, but you won't know until you purchase it. So now at this point, you've already given, given them your money. So I really would have appreciated this if it was definitely more of like my color, but unfortunately it's just not. In next place is going to be this um, Essence Fix and Last. First and foremost, it really didn't have like a lot of that like gripping properties to it as like the e.l.f., um, which is also really cheap and affordable or the Milk Hydro Grip. I personally like the e.l.f. more than the uh, Milk Hydro Grip, but you know whatever you like more is fine um so i just didn't really feel like this had like the gripping properties it just kind of just felt i don't know like like a tad sticky but like not where it's like oh yeah this is gonna grip my foundation also this had a very strong floral scent again i'm not necessarily opposed to scents i would prefer if things were were not scented, um, unless it's like a lip product or something, but for the most part, anything on my face, eyes, whatever the case may be, I would really appreciate it not being scented. But if I were to do like something scented, um, I think that like I would not choose floral. I would choose maybe something sweeter or again, like no floral scent at all. So that for me was just kind of a little bit of a bummer. Next up is going to be this Pacifica uh, Kind Tent. I really do like this. I do enjoy this. Um, I prefer something with slightly a little bit more coverage. This is definitely a light tinted kind of coverage, which is, I mean, it's a tinted serum. Okay. Like I should have known that going in. I feel like sometimes some tinted serums though really do have like more coverage. I did try building this up. Building this up didn't really work as well either. But I will say it definitely sank into my skin really nicely. If I am just like wanting to just like go out, run some errands, uh, you know, like a no makeup makeup kind of a day, I would I would use this. So I think if you are one of those, you want something light, just like a your skin, but better, just a little bit of a tint, not anything too much. I think you're really going to like this. Um, and I could definitely see like where I would have like a time and a place to use this. Um, it's just not going to be every day. Next up is going to be these matte, Superstay matte ink. I actually really, really do like these. I own quite a few different colors um, of these. I think they're really good. Again, they're one of those where I'm just like, if I want a lipstick that is going to stay, that's affordable at the drugstore, that's going to be it. I really do like the Jaclyn Cosmetics ones if I'm wanting something to like really stay, but I don't always wanna pay like that $20 price tag so these are like really good affordable options one of the things i don't like is just how sticky they are they're very sticky which i know that's part of the long wear so actually what i'm going to do is this is candy drip from Jaclyn cosmetics their lip oil i am going to go on top of it 
So I find that this gives a really good, nice shine. Um, and I also find that it does give like a really good, it keeps like, like, like the tint, the red tint. Um, so overall, like I'm, I'm really impressed with how the lip looks right now. I, I do enjoy that. Again, it's just like really super sticky. Um, so I would find either you can like put up with the stickiness or you could go over with like a really nice lip oil, gloss or something. And I still feel like it looks and stays really nicely even with that. Okay, next up we're going to be these ColourPop quads. Again, I think it's the typical ColourPop formula. I think that they're really nice, like they're decent. Each quad comes with two mattes, two shimmers. So if you are somebody that like wants like a one and done or a two and done or whatever, like a four and done, whatever the case may be for like these little quads, I think you're gonna enjoy them. I really wanna test this little quad out. If you guys want me to include this in a video, like another like trying new makeup, since I haven't tried this, let me know, like give this video a thumbs up, comment down below that you wanna see like this ColourPop quad in action. Next up is going to be this e.l.f. Uh, Vitamin C Putty Primer. Again, this is a really, really good drugstore option for like filling in your pores. And they do have a couple different options. They have like a matte option, a luminous option, a acne fighting option, the original. And now they have this Vitamin C. Again, I think it did a really like, fantastic job of filling in my pores. Uh, you know, obviously you're not going to be able to get rid of pores, uh, but I do feel like it really smooths them over and that's what I look for in a pore filling primer. It's something that's really going to smooth them over. I can't get rid of them. I wish I could, but you can't. So you just definitely have to just find something that's going to smooth it over. And this is a fantastic, probably my all-time favorite drugstore option for doing this. And you can find a putty primer that's going to work best for you. So I appreciate those. Next up is going to be this little HD setting powder. Okay, do they still sell this? Ultra HD setting powder, you know, I don't know. I have no idea, but like, look how airbrushed it made my face. Like, honestly, just so airbrushed. I don't know what I was expecting with this. I like it. I love it. It was perfect for me and I have really dry skin so I'm really finicky and very picky about my powders. Like I'm very picky about my powders and the fact that I'm just like literally like blown out of the water with this. I'm gonna have to look into like a bigger size because that's that's good. All right and then in very first place is going to be these elf putty blushes. These are absolutely beautiful i like how you can sheer them out you can build them up to make them more pigmented i love the luminosity um but i feel like once you start blending like on the hand i don't know if you can really tell um do you see those like little glitter specks like you could definitely see those when you're swatching them out but i found that like when i put it on the cheeks that it almost was like the glitter kind of like sank in disappeared so it just like looked luminous without being super glittery loved that absolutely loved that oh you know what i forgot to put in one of the products of course i did because it's like a normal me everyday thing so probably in between like the color pop palettes and the elf vitamin c i would have put in like this flexitarian highlighter oh my gosh this highlighter is like intense like there is no playing around with this like wow and that is something I love. I love a really good intense highlight. Um, you know, that's just me. I just love, like, I just love glowing. Okay? I'm glowing. I'm hoeing. I was going to say blowing, but I'm, I feel like we're just, we're, we're just going downhill at this point. But, like, oh, wow, like, that is just, like, intense. And I love that. Okay, back onto, like, these e.l.f. blushes. I just feel like they just, like, really sink into the skin. You can sheer them out or build them up to get whatever color you want. It is just so nice and luminous without it being very evident on your cheeks that it's glitter. Like, it's just, it's so beautiful. I think those those are fantastic. But, again, if you're not into, like, luminous, you want something, you want something or like something that's more matte, they do have that option. Um, it's just called Putty Blush right not luminous putty blush just the putty blush um they do have more options for like the putty blushes and they do the luminous i think the luminous has three at this point so that is it for today's video i hope that everybody enjoyed if you did definitely give this video a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button click the little bell so you can see more videos from me don't forget to follow me over on instagram love to see you all there 
But that is it for today's video. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!